This short presentation will go through the protocol for clinicians in the gynae unit to undertake BRCA testing. It will move through the slides automatically. Please also read the accompanying Frequently Asked Questions document, FAC1. The protocol, cited documents and forms are all available on www.mcgprogram.com. Gene testing of the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes can be undertaken by approved clinicians in NHS Royal Marsden patients under the gynae unit if they have non-mucinous ovarian cancer diagnosed at any age. BRCA testing can be discussed and undertaken at the time of diagnosis, during active cancer management or during follow-up. The timing of testing is at the discretion of the clinician. However, Please be aware that the result takes four to six weeks from receipt of sample and may take up to eight weeks. So if the result is required for management decisions, timing of testing must be planned accordingly. If the patient is eligible for testing by a non-geneticist, this can be performed by an approved clinician. To become an approved clinician, please email cancergenetics at rmh.nhs.uk. Testing involves four steps. Step 1. The approved clinician should give the patient the BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene test information sheet, MCGIS1. Step 2. The clinician should discuss BRCA testing. Patients should be informed that BRCA mutations are a cause of cancer and knowing whether or not a BRCA mutation is involved in causing their cancer can be helpful for their management. The clinician may also like to describe the specific relevance of the test for the specific patient. The patient should also be aware that the result can provide information of relevance to the wider family. E-Learning Module 2 provides further information about the BRCA genes. If either the clinician or patient feel that more detailed discussions would be helpful, a referral to the genetics department should be made. Step 3. If the patient wishes to proceed with testing, the consent form should be completed and scanned onto the EPR. E-Learning Module 4 details how to take consent. Step 4. Blood in EDTA purple top tubes should be taken, ideally two 9ml bottles. The blood should be sent together with the BRCA gene test request form, MCGF2, to the TGL Clinical Lab, which is in the Brooks Lawley Building in the ICR. The testing, analysis, interpretation and report generation currently typically take four to six weeks. All tests will be completed within eight weeks. The test result will be uploaded to the Germline Genetics tab on EPR. An EPR annotation with the result and any recommendations will also be uploaded. If no mutation is found, this result will be sent to the patient by the genetics unit, together with an information sheet, MCGIS2. Usually patients do not require any further discussion about the result, but if you think this would be helpful, let the genetics team know and they will send an appointment. A small proportion of ovarian cancer patients have mutations in genes other than BRCA1 or BRCA2. We are increasing the number of cancer predisposition genes that we test and when this becomes available you will be notified. If a mutation in a different gene is found in the future, we will notify you and the patient with clear information about the clinical implications of the result. Some patients with a normal gene test result would benefit from review by genetics. This includes any woman diagnosed under 30 years of age, patients with a strong family history of cancer, patients with a personal history of multiple primary cancers, or if there are any unusual features that might suggest a genetic cause. Such patients can be referred to genetics in the standard fashion. There may be additional tests that we can do or research that we can offer. Please contact cancergenetics at rmh.nhs.uk if you are uncertain whether to refer. If a mutation is identified, this result will be sent to the patient by the genetics unit together with an information sheet, MCGIS3, and an appointment in the genetics clinic to discuss things further. The cancer team will also be informed of the result. The cancer team should use the information as appropriate in the patient's cancer management and follow-up. 
The genetics team will discuss with the patient the implications for their future cancer risk and the processes for how their relatives can have discussions and testing should they wish to. Very occasionally, a variant is identified for which further evaluation would be helpful in deciding if it is a pathogenic mutation. This occurs in less than 1% of tests. If this occurs, a letter is sent to the patient by the genetics unit, together with an information sheet MCGIS4 and an appointment in the genetics clinic to discuss things further. The cancer team will also be informed. The genetics team will discuss with the patient the process and time frame for further evaluation of the variant and any additional tests that are required. A final recommendation for clinical management of the variant will be issued as soon as possible, typically within three to six months. The patient and cancer team will be informed. This presentation is now complete. Thank you for listening.